I'm going to be playing Second Breakfast, challenge number 43. Second Breakfast is part of Card Talk, a show that likes to talk a little bit about cards. And the most recent talked about card is Dane Ironfoot, an 11 threat spirit hero. One, two, three, five. Dwarf, noble warrior. While Dane Ironfoot is defending, he gains action. Discard the top three cards of your deck to give Dane Ironfoot plus one defense for this attack. Limit three times per phase. So right out of the gate, you've got six attack. That's enough to defend a hill troll. And Dane Ironfoot is the only hero in the game that can start out with six attack without any attachments. And you can use it in dwarf mining decks, and he's fine outside of dwarf decks. All in all, he's a great hero, and I'm giving him a 1. We're going to be playing against the Dead Marshes. Deck 1. Restrictions are Aragorn and the One Ring. Deck 2 restrictions are card draw and songs. For deck 1, I'm going to be playing the Grey Wanderer. You cannot choose more than one starting hero set up search your deck for an attachment with the print cost of one and put it into play then flip this card over the first non-unique card you play each planning phase does not require a resource match action exhaust this card and raise your threat by one to choose two ready your starting hero Add two resources to your starting hero's resource pool, or heal three damage to your starting hero. And the hero I'm choosing is Neutral Aragorn, a 12 threat hero, two, three, two, Five, Dunedain Ranger. Aragorn gains a resource icon matching each title attachment attached to him. Set up. Search your collection for a title attachment with a printed cost of one and attach it to Aragorn. Action. Ready a title attachment with a printed cost of one to Aragorn. Limit once per round. And then we have the one ring. It's restricted. Immune to non master card effects. Set up. Attach to a hero. You control and search your deck for a master card. Add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Your threat elimination level is reduced by five. If the one ring leaves play, you lose the game. So the master card I'm choosing is Inner Strength, attached to a hero with the one ring, limit one per hero. Attached hero gets plus one defense. Response, exhaust the one ring and raise your threat by one to cancel a shadow effect just triggered 
during an attack. And attached hero is defending. And the one cost attachment I'm going to put on Aragorn is Alessar. It's a title attached to it, Noble Hero or Aragorn. Attached character gains the Gondor trait. If attached character is Aragorn, he gains the Noble trait. Action. Exhaust Alessar. To choose an ally that is defending an attack and shares a trait with attached character. Either ready that ally or give it plus one for this attack of defense. And then the chart I'm choosing with Aragorn is Estelle. The title attached to a Dunedine hero or Aragorn. Attached character gains the Noldor trait. Exhaust, Estelle, and discard one card from your hand and search the top X cards of your deck for one card and add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. X is the number of traits on the attached character. So right now he's got Noldor, Dunedain, Gondor, Noble, and Ranger. So one, two, three, Four. A five. And he has the lore, the spirit and leadership resource icons. And the inner strength is added to my hand. And for deck two, I'm playing with the Messenger of the King. You can only choose two heroes during setup. Choose a non neutral unique ally from your deck and put it into play. Add the sum of that ally's printed willpower, attack, defense, and hit points to your starting threat, then flip this card over and attach it to that ally. Attached ally loses the ally card type and gains the hero card type. Attached character cannot be ready more than once per phase. Messenger of the King is immune to card effects while attached character is in play. If attached character leaves play, remove Messenger of the King from the game. And the heroes are Mary, a six threat spirit hero, two, one, one, two, Hobbit. Response, after an enemy is revealed from the top of the encounter deck, exhaust Mary to reduce your threat by that enemy's threat. Then the Messenger of the King is going to be Rosie. A two zero zero two. So it's going to be a four threat hero. Action. Exhaust Rosie Cotton to choose a Hobbit hero and an attribute. Willpower, attack, or defense. Add Rosie's willpower to that hero's chosen attribute. Until the end of the phase, limit once per phase. And then we got Bilbo Baggins, a nine threat lore hero. One, one, two, two, Hobbit. The first player draws one additional card in the resource phase. So our starting threat here is 12. 
and here it is 19. Dead marshes, 1A, into the marshes, set up. Search the encounter deck for Gollum and add to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck, then reveal one card per player from the encounter deck and add to the staging area. Gollum. If Gollum ever has eight or more resources on him, shuffle him back into the encounter deck. Force. At the end of the quest phase, the party must make an escape test, dealing one card per player from the encounter deck. If this test is failed, place two resource tokens on Gollum. An escape is reached. Exhaust X characters and calculate the willpower and then discard top X cards. And if the willpower is greater than the escape value, you win. Our opening hand. Shadow of the Past, Sword That Was Broken, Keenest Lances, Cornhouse Bowman, a Timely Aid, and a Keenest Lances. Keep this hand. Deck two. Heed the Dream, Fast Hitch, Old Toby, Doors Close, Sneak Attack, and a Weep No More. And a take. Oh, we'll keep this thing in here. Now reveal and counter card per player. Each location in the staging area gets plus one threat. Okay. And place two resources on Gollum. Any player may exhaust a lore hero to reduce the effect by one. We'll exhaust Bilbo. So we only put one. Now we get draw two cards and get a resource. Now we're going to play a Timely Aid. Gonna search the top five cards of our deck for an ally. That is a whiff. Here, Fireside Song. We'll spend one and put a Fast hitch onto Rosie. Now we're going to quest. Uh, we got one, two. Three, four. Heart of the Marshes, while it's the active location, cards get plus one escape and a brown land. So that's eight. And we quest it for one, two, three, four. So we raise our threat by four or I'll raise our threat by four. And now 
we're going to travel to the brown land, so that's explored. Go to the next round. Tina's lances and a gaffer. Gonna spend two and put a fireside song onto Rosie. Get plus one willpower for each song attachment. Here. I'm going to get rid of a Tornos Bowman with Estelle and look at the top five cards. We're going to get it out of the wild. Now we're going to play an out of the wild with our first non unique. Card. And it's got secrecy two, so it only costs one. You just look at the top five cards of the encounter deck, and ones with no victory plays we can get rid of. All right, why don't we get rid of this light of the dead? It's five escape. And now Tina's lances are three. Now we're going to quest. Well, we had to do an escape test. And that was going to be Mary and Rosie. So before we did that, I had to do this. Zero, two, so we would have passed. Now we're questing for one, two, three, four, five, raise our threat by one, ready him up and give him two resources. Place two resource tokens on Golem. The Lights of the Dead. Each player must make a escape test. We have to raise a threat by one and put a resource in Golem if we fail. Okay, over here, we'll do a sauce Tim it's two, two, so we raise a threat by one and put a resource on Gollum. Here we're going to do nothing. And we have to raise a threat by one and put a resource on Gollum. And now there is three in the staging area and quest for five. So we make two progress. And now we do an escape test for one, two, three, four, five. We actually get one more. Because this is worth three. And zero, two. Go to the next round. Guardian of Arnor and a Descendant of Kings. I'm going to put a 
sword that was broken on the Aragorn. I'll discard a descendant of kings to look at the top five. Andriel. Here. We're going to play Gaffer. Now, questing. Raise our quest with Aragorn, raise our threat by one, and ready him up. So that's three, four, five, six. Seven. And it's three. Each player must raise their threat by one for each character not committed to the quest. So we raise our threat by two. And Impassable Bog. When revealed, place one resource token on Gala for each location in the staging area. So that'll be one. So we make three progress. I'll add Rosie to make three more. We're up to nine. So as a group, we're going to, so that's three, four, five, six for the high test, for the escape test. Zero, two. So we pass. We're also getting two resources aside to readying them up. Go to the next round. Keen as lances. Play as keen as lances for three. And draw three cards. Theron's Ruins, draw two cards. Another Theron's Ruins, draw two cards. So now King's Lances are worth two cost two then this one for two and get two resources i'm going to play this here i'm going to play a drinking song and one two three four five six seven eight Penis lances are now one. Hobbit pipe. Cram onto Rosie. Song of Hope under Rosie. Then 
one and play a king of glasses and draw three cards. And now they're free. Two and put a fireside song. Oh, I already have a fireside song there. Let's spend one and put a strider. So two more little power. Put a song of wisdom. I get another willpower. I'll go over to here. Northern Tracker. Play a Keenan's Lances for free and draw. And actually, first we'll discard. Four knots Bowman and look at the top five. Get a king of lances. Play a king of lances, get two resources. King of lances, get two resources. Play a Northern Tracker. Another Cunis Lances and get two resources. And play a Andriel because he has four traits. And now he gets plus one to all his stats and he can ready. We'll also play Inner Strength. It's another defense. And questing. There is a total of four in the staging area. We're going to quest for seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Raise a threat by one to ready them and give them two resources. So we got 11 giant worm and the two. So that's uh, the fires, fins, and myers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I make four. It's enough to go to the next stage. After the stage is defeated, the first player chooses a player. That player must pass an escape test, dealing one card from the encounter deck for each resource token on Gollum. Now we have to do a escape test for Gollum. End of the phase. We'll do one with Bilbo. That's one, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five, three, eight. Ooh, pass. Now we're going to go to the next round. Cards, Inner Strength, and Northern Tracker. Uh, 
we're going to put out a guardsman. Over here. We're going to make things cost one. We'll play Bill. Five kings, another willpower, two, and for the fireside song. Now, questing. There's three, four, five, six, seven. We need to make three. So we'll quest here, raise the threat by one, and ready him back up and get two resources. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. Bear, that's one, two, and if Ben's and Myers, that's Two more. So we quest successfully by seven. This is defeated. Now we have to choose a player to do an escape. We're going to choose this here. We got to discard six cards and we're going to exhaust Rosie for one, six, seven, eight, and then it's for nine. Nine and discarding six cards. Zero, 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 and zero. Whoa. So there's a win. Hope you enjoyed watching. Have a great day.